Okay, yo. Whoa, I got grills. <laughs> Whoa. So I've had a fair few requests from awesome virtual stage designers like uh, Phoenix Media. They've sort of been making these digital kind of DMX stage setups and they're wondering how to spread kind of spout textures, uh, spread a single 1920 by 1080 image across a few different meshes in their Unreal scenes. Uh, and this has led to a couple of different techniques for uh, mapping a single image across different meshes. Uh, this can be really good for saving texture resources if you're streaming in via spout or just, you know, you could create your kind of chosen imagery and effects and uh, spread it across different meshes. I'm going to show you first off just like a really basic uh, UV mapping kind of method and that will uh, get us to grips with kind of what's going on here and then I'll go into a slightly more advanced UV UV mapped method to show that you can get a bit more creative with it uh, and then I'll go into a whole new method where we've made a material just in Unreal that will take the, the world position and uh, you can then you can put this material onto any object and you can play freely in Unreal with where you want your uh, geometry to be. So three different methods for DMX kind of virtual stage design. Hopefully this little free part is really useful to you guys and gets you going um, being creative with these virtual stage setups and a load of other uses for it. So let's run into it. Okay, so let's start in Photoshop and make a new file. Make it uh, 1920 by 1080 and keep that resolution at 72. That's fine. We create that. And so we can split this just as like a example. Uh, how are we going to split this into three? Let's go new here. Make this one black. And select it about here. Duplicate it. Change the color of that down here. Double click color overlay, make that one like mid color and control J to duplicate that. Uh, and then grab the whole thing because we know these are all equal size, so we can scale all these together, and that's great. So, here's this color, something else. So, now we've, now we've got just a bit of an indicator, we know these are all perfectly equal size, and this will just be used for when we're making our UV map. So save that out as a JPEG. It'll save this template in an assets folder. Let's save that as a JPEG, that's cool. So now we're gonna go into Blender, or we can do it in another 3D program. We'll create our static meshes for our screen. So let's go mesh, plane, we do shift space bar to bring up this rotate. And then you can turn that and just press 90 and uh, that'll give you a perfect 90 degree turn. Save this out, save this out as three screens. Uh, so our, our screens wanna be like, what? Uh, I guess they'll reflect, reflect what I'd done before. So pressing tab, you can just uh, you press two. You can just pull these in. Object set origin the center of mass. So our origin is in the middle. That's sweet. Um, yeah. Then I'm just gonna go Shift D and drag that out. Press X for the X axis. Do that, and then Shift R to just do that again. Perfectly symmetrical. Lovely. Um, this one I want to rotate it by what? 35. This one I'll rotate it by minus 35 and drag both of those, move them both down here and looking pretty nice and bang on. That's cool. So we look at our Photoshop here. We want to get uh, we want to get these different colors lined up to the screen. So we'll combine these planes into one object, right click join, shift select all of them and then right click join. Cool. I might just I might have to move this one back so you can control L to grab that. Make that back in touch. So that's cool. Now uh, we're going to our UV editing and we'll go select all of that. Let's go open image first. Open that JPEG. So we know this is 1920 by 1080. That's cool. And let's A to select all of that. Then U. We'll go Let's try Smart UV Project. Yeah, Smart UV Project, that's close enough, that's cool. And again over here you can shift space to move. Get all of these, and let's zoom in real far so this is nice and exact. Cool, cool. We've got those edges, is this coming out the edge? Get that sound. And then we can drag, select these. Do the same for this area. 
So that's sweet. We know that now across a single object, we go into render view. I'll add apply this as a material just to check it. Um, let's go shift A image texture and we'll grab the multi screen thingy that we got, put that in the base color and boom, that's awesome. And there we have an image that is uh, perfectly split across these different boundaries within a 1920 by 1080 space. So any video you have that um, is either spanning all of this, it'll be nicely kind of surrounding you or any um, video you have where you're using these boundaries to project different things into the same video, you can meddle with that and it will kind of appear on these different screens, which is very cool. Uh, what we can do now is control L and right click separate by selection. And we'll do that for this one as well. That's good. Okay, let's make it easier. Control L, right click separate by selection. And now we've got separate objects, but they each have this area of the UV map themselves, which is really nice. Um, because then in Unreal we can we can now kind of tweak those if we want to. But if they share the same material, they'll still uh, do the same mapping. So let me show you that. So select all of these and let's go file export so, uh, FBX uh, selected objects in the right folder. Don't really need any smoothing or anything because it's literally a flat plane. Call it three screens FBX, export that. So now in your Unreal scene, you can go create a new folder called uh, Meshes. Uh, I can drag my three screens FBX in. No skeletal mesh. It's all good. Import and sweet. So it's all come in as these three separate objects. If I drag them all in together, I should get uh, the positioning the same, which is wonderful. And it's automatically imported this material for us, which is nice. Um, but we're going to be changing that out. It's nice as an indicator out of the way. So now, say we want to run a image into that. So I've got this, I've got this in OBS just running. I'll just pop pop it up here for now. And um get filters, spout filter, and set that spout filter name, OBS spout filter. And then if we got a, re a receiver, we got a receiver in here already. Get a receiver in spout receiver manager. And then uh add mm, that as an array element. Spout filter and put that out to a texture target, which I will create a new one, render target. Save that in my live stream wizard. I call this. So this is just going to be what the image is outputting to within Unreal. So I uh, call this in spout in test. Awesome. So we got that set to active and sweet. So we got the live feed of this image coming in. Uh, can I hide that in OBS just for our sake? No, it doesn't like that. <laughs> I think I can move it off the screen there. So we so we got that texture target in now. And uh, if we navigate to that, mm, let's so go back. Let's open our material that's already applied to this. Uh, I'm just going to save all and save the level. Oh, he's got to spam that. So we've got our material here. We can go to our render target and just drag that in. And because this should be 1920 by 1080, let's flip this over. I'm actually going to pop it in the emissive. So it's like flat color. Uh, saved and applied that. And oh, we got something. <laughs> we got something going on. One of these looks upside down. Uh, okay, that's my that's my UV mapping. Definitely, that's my UV mapping. So what have we got here? These two are good. This one just needs to be like here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that one should be here. Um, so what this is is my UV mapping. So I go back into Blender. What have we done? So we got this one. This should be. Rotated 180, but also, yeah, so yeah, I should have spotted this before. That blue is in the middle, so like that blue, and this one should be the red one. And select this red, this red one should be the yellow one. Select that one, this one should be the blue one. Okay, so it's <laughs> three, uh, three, all you gotta do is Hold select all of those and um, re export that and then re import into Unreal. Don't have to change anything else. Select the objects, export, and in here, just go to our static mesh, which we can navigate to here and select all of those and go re import. And boom, that's much better. Awesome. So, yeah, there you go. One image displayed across three screens. Um, obviously you can scale these however you want, 
But yeah, I hope that helps. It's pretty awesome.